Tinnitus is not an easy symptom to put in check. I'm an audiologist. My audiology community knows that when we can reduce the negative thinking and negative reactions of tinnitus, usually the sound gets softer too. In this video, we're going to talk about the harmful neuroplasticity that can happen from this negative self-talk, as well as cognitive behavioral therapy research and how that relates to this topic. And of course, at the end, I'm going to explain a case study of a real person who used these techniques to improve their quality of life with tinnitus. So let's get into it. So first here, as you can see, we have this tinnitus here. Now, a lot of people have tinnitus, and for some people it's really bad, but for most people it's just in their background, it's just hanging out throughout their lives, and if they really focus and try to hear it, they can hear it. But for people who are watching this channel, most often your tinnitus did not just get better or sit in the very background of your mind. For different factors, different reasons, the tinnitus became this kind of red reaction, this red response, something intense that we want to stop or limit. A reaction someone might have to this tinnitus that's now a bother and a burden is, this tinnitus is killing me. And that sends a message to our emotional brain, to our limbic system about how this tinnitus, it's not welcome, it's a threat, it's going to harm us. So then the tinnitus increases in its size, sometimes increases in its volume or the level that we're bothered by it. So that might send the next negative thinking of, I can't live with my tinnitus. I just can't live with it. That's the kind of words that someone might use. I just can't live with it. That is a negative thought. We're not trying to stop negative thinking, but just recognize and have some awareness that a negative thinking of, I can't live with my tinnitus, it tells our emotional brain that this tinnitus is a large threat. It's a bigger threat now. It's growing in size. As you can see here, this is a vicious circle where negative thinking increases the tinnitus response. So the next thought someone might have if they're in this vicious circle is, why me? Why did this happen to me? What did I do to deserve this? And the answer is nothing. You didn't do anything to deserve it. This is not your karma. This has nothing to do with your past actions. This is just something that you're having to deal with at this moment in this time. So you might have this thought of why me? Or I'm cursed. I don't know why this is happening to me. I must be cursed. And again, that negative thinking here it intensifies the tinnitus response. So we have, these, we have these different levels of the tinnitus intensity over time getting louder, and it's correlated to some degree, it can be correlated with this negative thinking and the different series of progressive negative thinking that comes with it. I know this is not easy for me to say, and if you're going through this, it's not going to be a snap of the fingers to get out of it. But as someone who cares about your improvement, I want to bring light to how negative thinking patterns can keep us stuck in the symptom. So what we're talking about here is this relationship between our limbic system and the tinnitus response. The protocols that focus on helping individuals with tinnitus, they understand the psychological component to the condition is key. It affects our body's reaction of being tense and tight that contributes to tinnitus staying loud in most cases, as well as the fight or flight response in the mind, in the psychology. If we're stuck in that as well, it keeps the tinnitus loud. I'm not here to say your tinnitus is going to be cured or go up to zero if you change your thinking patterns, but it has shown an effect for many people. So you consider that as you're figuring out what's the best way for you to improve your tinnitus. The most evidence-based method of how to improve this kind of reaction, how to stop the vicious cycle and this vicious circle, would be through cognitive behavioral techniques. Cognitive behavioral therapy has been studied, as you can see below, to improve tinnitus. And it showed that the negative reactions to tinnitus were greatly improved by getting into this psychological patterning and rewinding it right? This is a path of negative thinking that goes into a very dark place. 
So cognitive behavioral therapy allows us to approach what's happening from a more neutral, pragmatic place. And when we can do that, suddenly the tinnitus, which has grown over time, it might start to subdue. It might start to go back near its previous level because that's where it came from. We may be able to bring it down somewhat. Again, not to say that the goal is to silence it or get it down to 0% because science and the medical community, we've tried a lot to find a cure. We haven't found a cure yet. This is going to be one aspect of the holistic management of tinnitus. Now let me give you a case study of someone who had these kind of thinking patterns, worked with a therapist for their tinnitus, and then realized that when they changed the self-talk inside of their own mind, that it was helping them cope with it a lot better, which helped their energy levels, helped their sleep, helped their overall happiness and quality of life. This is a 55 year old male who has unilateral tinnitus, tinnitus in one ear for the past four years. And for the first few years, they tried alternative treatments and they tried all sorts of things. They tried to buy the pills online that claimed to help cure tinnitus, but nothing did it for them. Eventually they worked with a therapist, a psychologist who helped them a lot and they changed their thinking patterns in the following ways. First, instead of saying, I'm fighting the tinnitus, I'm fighting it, change that to a more neutral place as I'm doing my best right now with all of the energy I have, all of the resources I have, I'm doing the best I can and I'm proud of that. The second kind of thinking pattern is instead of saying, I can't live with this, internally reminding ourselves, I am strong because I am living through this. This is challenging, this is not easy, but I'm strong because I'm still here, I'm still standing. The third example that this individual used that helped them was that instead of saying it's killing me, saying it's loud right now. So using a phrase like it's killing me implies that your tinnitus could actually kill you. That sends our body and our mind and our psychology into a negative place, into a challenging place to get out of. Using more neutral or realistic or pragmatic self-talk is, it's loud right now. My tinnitus is very loud right now. And it's challenging me, but I'm able to still live. I'm able to still breathe. And I know that this will pass as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and hope you understood something about the vicious cycle of negative thinking and tinnitus. My intention here is to bring light to the reality that most of us get caught in negative thinking patterns and negative thinking loops. That can be a vicious circle and due to the nature of tinnitus, the tinnitus can actually get louder when we're in this kind of cycle. So if you learned something from this video or if you can relate, please comment below and I will individually respond to you. Thank you so much. Subscribe to this channel if you are not already subscribed. And on this next video on my side, I recommend you watch this video called What is Tinnitus Therapy? For someone who hasn't been in tinnitus therapy, you might have some questions about what really goes on.